Right, so someone has kind of worked out how to do strands. Or something to do with it anyway, using dynamics, which is kind of some of the examples we've seen online, but no one's told us how to do any of it. So I was up late last night, playing around, and this morning, and come across this. So let's take a look, and it should open up some doors. I'm no absolute expert on this at the moment, but it's opened up an extra level, which I just want to share with all you guys. I'm quite happy about it. So let's uh, shrink my beautiful head down a bit and get started. So we've got a torus, it's gonna to create a um, new graph, input, delete, bring in the torus, bring in the ground plane as a collider. Um, input, output, let's just create a basic particles graph and I'm just gonna explode this Okay, so let's just drag this over here. I'm going to drag the mesh geometry into here. Um, and before I in, uh, before I compile it, I'm just going to uh, change the end frame um, to. Let's not even bother because we're not using the end frame. Um, rate, I'm going to keep it 100. Speed, velocity, bouncing this, I'm just going to turn that down to about 0.1. Uh, age limit, I'm going to turn up to about 100. And then I'm going to look at a direction, which I'm going to do at like 5 and minus 5 in Z. So they should sort of spout out over here. So let's just connect up the output and rewind. Give that a second to compile. Rewind and play. So we've got particles spouting out over here like so. All good. Um, for now, actually, I might just take the rate down a little bit. I'm going to take it down to like 10. Um, should have done that before I connected this. Give it a second. I'll just delete that for a second. Right, so we've got simulate particles. So we've got our particles, which is great. Um, what we need to do is create um, construct strands node. So con construct strands node construct strands node and then we're going to want um, uh, we're going to want to set the Arnold do what so set Arnold oh, set Arnold strands settings so I'm going to get the strands put them in there and then I think uh, while I'm here I'm just going to go over and assign material and I'm just going to put the strands into the uh, geometry and then I'm going to drag in my shader which I've got sort of set up here already which is just an AI standard surface shader and with it I've got let's just get the attribute editor open I've just put like a little em a glow emission on it so we can see what we're doing so I'm just going to plug that into the surface material and then we will stick that into the output but we've got a missing piece to the puzzle in here and that is that we need to tell the strands where they're getting their point position from and we need to uh, get a point position from the simulated particles so all we need is a get um, point position and we're going to drag the particles into the geometry section and a point position out to the point position section of the construct strands. Um, so next step is to actually just pull the geometry into the particles. And now if we rewind, please let this work. Rewind and play. We have strands emitting from the point positions of the particles. Now if I render this, we get actual strands um, and they are emitting etc etc so let's just kill that for a second um, I just need to hook up the um, collider so let's just bring in a collider collider coming in here and we'll just bring this mesh into the geometry and we're gonna hook up the uh, collider into the colliders section so just have a little look at this for now 
let's just oh, Jesus where'd it go man so let's just have a proper look at this for now screenshot it whatever you want to do so we've got the torus running into source particles that was easier to set up we've got a collider going into the colliders of the particles so this is all our particle section all right so let's just create a, a backdrop and then we've got a point position that's the most important thing out of all of this just getting the point position from the particle sim yeah and that point position then feeds into the strands so they're picking up the point position and creating strands then we've got the set arnold strand settings which are going to enable us to change various attributes on our strands look so we've got a mode override we can turn that ribbon thick whatever um, and then that pops down into the geometry of the assigned material with the AI standard surface going into the surface material and then out to the output. Fairly straightforward, but if you don't know how to do these things, then um, it's not straightforward. <laughs> so if we just go into the Arnold Strand setting, so at the moment we've got, well, we've got anything because I need to rewind and play because we've got a collider now and that's all hitting the surface. So if I hit render now, then we can see that our strands are indeed, um, you know, following those collisions and stuff and lighting our scene, which is like amazing and so cool. It should open up a lot of new avenues now by using, just simply using get point position. Um, so we can have, you know, just think if you've got kind of like the examples you've been seeing is we've got a car and you're using the particles as an emitter further down in your scene and they're coming towards the car your car is a collider you're going to get strands going over your car i'm not saying it's going to be perfect like in the example we've seen because that's really complicated the next step is to figure out um how to uh, swap the geometry of the strands to create like chains and stuff like that that we've seen i'm sure that's a lot more complicated i've been looking into it if i crack it I'll show you guys. Um, so mode override, we can go to like ribbon. Uh, I'm not sure that's changing anything. It might change something in a second. <clears throat> Probably got to rewind and play. What's nice about this is it's just like, I can almost watch it happening. It's pretty sick. Pretty, pretty sick. And then we just stop it there. The ribbon, I should be able to change that. Give it a second. In fact, let's just do what I've been <clears throat> telling everyone to do, and that's just to unplug the output for a minute. Come on, don't crash on me, boy. Let's just kill that output, and let's just go back into the uh, set Arnold strands, and I'm just going to go thick, and then I'm going to rewind now, and then I'm going to plug that back into the particle section. Give it a second to compile. And then play, and we should be able to um, change the thickness and whatnot. Obviously, the more particles, the more strands. The less particles, the less strands. So, um, what if I scroll off one? Mesh one, mesh one. Output displacement material. And then pixel width, so we can change that. Um, but yeah, if we go back into the particles themselves and we just turn the rate, let's just rewind that down to like, well, let's just, let's just put it up. Let's just go to 100. And we're going to play this once it's recompiled. Play. And then we've got millions more of these strands going on there. And they're all building up here. Very, very thick. So we could just bring this rate back down to like two and just have a few of them doing their thing. Rewind, play. There we go. Just got a few strands doing their thing. So that's awesome. However, there is a part two to this little tutorial. I went one step further about an hour ago. Um, so let's just stop this, pull out 
And let's start by deleting all of this. Let's keep the collider. Let's rewind. Give that a second to think about it. Right, so, rewind. Oh, those strands are gonna get upset because, hang on, let me just go back a couple of levels. Come on. Right, let's rewind now. Now, let's get rid of that. All right, so, next tab, aero. Let's go, basic aero graph, yeah. Basic aero graph. Right, so we've got our input going into the geometry. Then we're going to have our collider, which we don't really need to be honest because our aero is going to go upwards. Um, but let's do it because let's just change the gravity on it. So uh, collider into colliders. Let's kill that one, don't need that. Collider into colliders. Right, uh, let's just go into source air. Actually, no, let's go into sulfur settings. And let's go with, uh, let's get a buoyancy, because um, that's going to be going up. Let's just remove that. And let's just check it out before we do anything else. Let's just pull that uh, out and let's just put the volume into the output for a second. Um, <clears throat> let that compile. And we're just going to play it. I just want to see that arrow coming down if possible yep cool that's coming down and it's doing its thing all right lovely so rewind move that away so what we need to do now is we need to drag the um, points into the get point position um, but it's not going to work straight away, so I'll just show you. Let's put that back into particles. And we're going to rewind. <clears throat> and we're going to play. And we've got nothing going on. Okay, so no strands are showing up. So you think it'd work, but there is a little something we need to tick. Um, and that is in, I believe it's in the solver settings. Right, so what we're trying to do is we're trying to get the points from the arrow but the arrow isn't at the moment emitting points so we can't use the get point position even though there's a points uh, output so if we go into the solver settings and then we scroll down to boost dl with points click that bad boy okay so now we've got points being emitted and look all of a sudden we can see the strands showing up so the beauty of this is that now we're using like a fluid solver rather than a particle solver to create different sort of shapes. Um, in no way is this kind of perfect, but what it has done and hopefully will do is open up some doors so that more people can start to now go and explore, being as people are being fairly tight at the moment with information of how all this new technology works. Um, and I'm hoping that getting this out there is going to start to create some kind of movement <laughs> as it were, for other people to start going and figuring out what we can do with this and how we can make it um, work for us. Um, but for me, that's a fairly big uh, step forward in that we can now use strands on particles and an aero, and no one's told us how to do it, and we just figured it out. There you go. Happy days. Like, subscribe, thumbs up, send me lots of money, and I'll speak to you on the next one.